a little far side bumping us in on this Sunday morning. On Thursday, this country will begin an incredible new social experiment that I don't think has adequately received the amount of attention it deserves. When the citizens of Washington state will be able to buy and sell marijuana legally under a regulated system that is more liberal than that of anywhere else in the entire world. Unlike the 18 states in the District of Columbia that have allowed the sale and consumption of marijuana for medicinal use, on Election Day, Washington, along with Colorado, whose own law goes into effect next month, became the first states to legalize the drug completely. Just like they can with alcohol, residents of these two states will be able to buy, sell, consume, and carry marijuana so long as they're over 21 and don't drive under the influence. I'm talking about full legalization of the recreational use of weed. So now the conversation switches from what this law would look like in the abstract to how to actually manage it. In Washington, the law establishes a one-year period to develop rules and a licensing system for marijuana production and sale. The state's Liquor Control Board, which will regulate the sale of marijuana, says it has little insight into what to do. Things aren't as complicated in Colorado, where a tightly regulated commercial medical marijuana market is already in place. The Department of Revenue, which will oversee the sale of marijuana in that state, will likely build on the already existing medicinal model. Not only will marijuana be regulated in these states, it will also be taxed. Indeed, the promise of this new source of revenue was a major selling point to voters. In Washington, the state will tax marijuana at the massive rate of 25% three different times in the chain from production to consumer, which is estimated to generate a whopping $600 million a year. Revenue projections in Colorado are just a tenth of that. Of course, since none of this has been done before, no one knows how accurate the estimates are, but we're all about to find out. Joining me at the table are Tony DeCoppel, senior writer at Newsweek and the Daily Beast and author of the recent Newsweek cover story, The New Pot Barons. Kevin Sabet, former senior advisor for the Obama Office of Natural Drug Policy and now an assistant professor at the University of Florida's Drug Policy Institute. And back at the table is Dietrich Mohammed from the NAACP. All right. Kevin, I guess I want to start with you on this because um, the big question before we get to how this is all going to go is what is the federal government going to do about it? Yeah. Um, it is clearly the case that marijuana is still an illegal drug according to federal law. Selling it, trafficking it, doing all sorts of things are legal under federal law. And so now this huge question arises and having worked in the White House on this issue, what is the Obama administration going to do about this? Well, I think the administration has been very clear that, you know, and the president's been clear that he's against legalization and that on public health grounds. I mean, we know with legalization we're going to have a cheaper drug, more people are going to use it. It's going to just be more socially acceptable. Um, and according to NIH, that's a problem for one in six kids. It's not a problem for everybody, but it can be a problem on the roads and, and for IQ and learning, et cetera. So the administration's been very clear that they're going to be against it. What the Justice Department does with the very tricky legal questions, because each of these initiatives, you know, have like 10 different legal things that they're trying to do. I think is the is the more interesting question you know uh, federal law is federal law I can't imagine the administration is going to say um, it's going to be okay with retail sales uh, you might be able to have people grow their own and really with the resources out there there's nothing you can do about it even if it's against federal law but I you know I think uh, Hickenlooper the governor of Colorado was right when he said not to break out the Cheetos just yet uh, because you know there's there's a lot that needs to be ironed out here I'm glad you brought that up. first of all I want to yeah. the, the, the NIH studies and the sort yeah, of negative sure. consequences I think um, so there's, there's a lot of interesting data on this, right? There's been some data that finds essentially no effect. There's, some, there's been some data that finds um, some negative effects in developmentally, depending on when kids smoke marijuana. Um, but also it all has to be compared to alcohol, right? Because, I mean, in some ways that's, that becomes a big issue. I mean, even if there are negative effects, there's lots of negative effects of alcohol. We know that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and, but I mean, alcohol is legal because it has a cultural history, widespread accepted use. I mean, marijuana has well, it's also legal. Years, it's also but, illegal. It's also legal because yeah. we tried to ban it and it was the biggest policy disaster, arguably, except for slavery. Yeah, but it was decriminalized <laughs> when it was prohibited. Actually, alcohol prohibition, it was actually decriminalized. You could actually possess it. You just couldn't buy it. Um, there are some parallels with prohibition. I mean, actually, um, cirrhosis of the liver went down during prohibition. There were some public health gains. I, I'm not saying that the issue is current policy is not perfect. I think that's the bottom line with marijuana. The issue, though, that the war on drugs is a failure and current policy isn't perfect, so then we should legalize. I think that's been the narrative in the media, the sort of false dichotomy is what I would call it. We can do a lot of other things, like not target Hispanics and blacks when it comes to arrests, not saddle people with records for their, so they can't get a college mm -hmm. loan. Let's change those things. The idea, though, that we want to treat this like alcohol and tobacco, have an industry that sells to kids, have an industry that, that this is commercialized, I don't see we have, why we have to go the, so far. The case for marijuana needs to be made on its own, not uh, by saying it's better than, than alcohol. I mean, that's a, that's a case against alcohol. It's not a case for marijuana. Yeah, exactly. Right. You look like you wanted to jump in. Well, I, which, you know, this notion of the health effects, I mean, 
Chris made the point, it's also cigarettes. So I cigarettes agree. are legal, but uh, we're not allowed to sell them to kids. Yeah. Um, we regulate them in ways. Uh, the government actually recovers 66% of the profits on a pack of cigarettes, right. and we regulate. Now, I don't want my kids smoking yeah. cigarettes, and we've made it illegal. So I think you're right. I think the way this is going to happen is that states are going to start innovating as they are, and eventually that's going to put pressure. For every dollar in cigarette for every dollar we get in cigarette or alcohol taxes, we spend 10 in social costs. I'm not, exa I'm not equating marijuana but, with cigarettes yes, in those but, ways, but, but we have to look at that. But yes, but actually what we've done by making it harder to smoke in public yeah. places and by increasing the cost of cigarettes through taxation right. is that we've actually seen a great reduction in yep. the take up of cigarettes yep. by young people. A quarter people. of Americans so we have actually have, <laughs> but So we've actually impacted yeah. attitudes Should, and behaviors. Th th this idea of the yeah. industry is, yeah, is, is fascinating, right? Because right now the, the big open question is, A, what is the federal government going to do? But also, what does a marijuana industry look like? And I'm glad you, you raised that and, and, and you you also had the Doritos line, because I think one of the things that has kind of made this a difficult conversation is that people joke about it, right? It's like marijuana is funny. Um, this is President, when we come back, yeah. President Obama at a town hall when he's making his argument not in favor of legalizing marijuana in 2009. We're going we're to see that clip, and then you're going to talk about what the marijuana industry looks like and what its future is after this break.